What's going on, guys? We are here for the first week of Rocket League. We're getting started between uh, Hood, sorry, Hood College and St. Ambrose University. We are just about to get into the match. I believe all players have connected. With Hood College, we're gonna have a Nader Tot, uh, Slammin' Eight, and all caps. And then on the side of St. Ambrose, we're gonna have Sap, Slop. And I believe Nico, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. We're all in a lobby waiting to start. So between these two teams, we have nothing to go off of. We are just getting started here. And uh, and I want to say thank you, first of all, to our sponsors, NEC or any ESTV. I'm sorry, guys. ESTV, Helix Game, uh, Helix Esports and the NFL alum. We're going to get settled in here and get going very shortly. My name is Voltage, and this is the National Esports Collegiate Conference. As we get started here, the teams are joining. Once again, we do have Hood College going up against St. Ambrose. And we're going to get the kickoff with Slam and Aiden Ollie going into each other right now, followed up by all caps on the side of Hood. Nico with a big clear Nader talk gonna be able to get it out from in front of his net. Big follow-up there from Nico. Over there on the side of Sloth, keeping the pressure going in the corner, being able to center it there for his teammates, who is gonna be able to get there, but Ollie quickly gets demoed by Nader talk. Good shot on net, but gonna be a big save there from Slam and eight. As he's taking it across the field where he's got two hood players ready to defend. All cap with a miss there. Two. The St. Ambrose player is there to defend or to try to capitalize, not able to do so. And they're going to just kind of right now try to bring the pressure back the other way onto St. Ambrose. Hood College without a defender back. Slamming eight able to push it away before Ollie was there to push it in. We're going to be moving up. Pressure on the St. Ambrose net. Big clear there from Nico as he's going to follow it up and get this big boost on the left side. And try to power over Slam and Eight. Not able to do so. Slam and Eight with a shot on net. Ollie able to push to the side. Nice and easy there. Nader Tot continuing the pressure. Oh, and what a save there from the wall was Ollie 128. Right on net. Not able to do so. All caps is going to be saving that one and bringing it upfield. Low boost. Not able to get in front of it. Nader Tot. Misses the shot on net, tries to get a follow-up as he's falling, gets it past Sloth. Nico moving it upfield in a 1v2 situation here on the ball, waiting for his teammates to rotate up. Does get the center and a big clear there from Hood College. Slamming eight coming off the wall, trying to get a different angle on it. Big center, two players up for it. Nader Tot just hitting the right post there. As we're moving it back the other way, St. Ambrose. Trying to bring the pressure. Ollie is going back to support his team on defense. Slamming eight in the air. Nico from the wall once again able to save that. All caps missing that one. Nico not quick enough. Nader top taking it over him and keeping it in the corner there. Not allowing them to center the ball. Making it tough on them. Giving them the tough angles. Nader top with a flick over one. A big center and he follows up with a double tap. Nader top. Scores for Hood College first. So two and a half minutes have elapsed in the first game in a best of five series. Nader Tot putting it on net, making it look easy as we move on to the second half of the first game. Nader Tot and Sloth go for the kickoff. Sloth does get that win there. And Slammin' 8 trying to clear once again. I feel like Slammin' 8's been there for the clear almost every single time. Sloth putting the pressure on, getting a good bump, trying to support his team. Holly 128 backing up, realizing that Hood College did have an offensive presence there. All caps trying to follow up there, puts it in the corner. We're going for a center there. Ollie misplays it, but luckily Nico is there to push it back towards the corner. Nico from the wall, moves it around Nader Tot, slamming eight, keeping it on the St. Ambrose side of the field. What defensive presence, Ollie. Ollie was there to take it out. Big demo, but not enough. Nico ties the game up just 43 seconds later. 
See Ollie with a big center. And Nico able to finish it off after slamming eight. Demos Sloth. It's all tied up. 1-1 one, one with 150 to go. So move in Sloth. Nader. Nader getting the best of that one and a big dunk on Ollie. But Ollie is there to control it afterwards. Slamming. Trying to make something happen here. 1-1. It's, it's one, one. Game 1 is going to decide how the rest of the series go. Big center there from all caps, but neither Slammin' or Nader taught there to, or to put it in. Hood making some good passing plays on the defensive side of things. You don't normally see that. Nader taught trying to put on net. Slammin' eight, trying to force it in, but they say no. It's St. Ambrose moving it back up the field, but Hood College is still putting that pressure down there. So we see Nader, the only scorer for Hood, Going back on the defensive side there. Ollie bringing up the field for St. Ambrose, but a dunk there from all caps doing the backflip. I'm sorry. Uh, all caps right there trying to defend Nico. Nico is able to move it in the corner and demo slamming eight. We see Sloth up in the air for St. Ambrose University from the corner. Slam and eight says no, but a big center there coming in. Hood College Nader taught able to take it from the wall and move it into an offensive chance. We're going to keep it in the center of the field here. All caps brings it low, but it's just going to miss wide as we see Ollie moving it from the wall straight out and beating Slam and eight who tried to win that 50 50. Slam and eight in the corner. Trying to get a good clear right there. Sloth missing that one. We're coming down to the last eight seconds. As we move in, demo from Nico onto Slam in all caps, trying to put it on net. Not able to do so. If they keep it up in the air, we are going to be able to see a goal, but unfortunately, it does touch the ground, and we are heading into overtime. Game one overtime, tied one to one. As Ollie 128 from the wall. Almost hits that top left corner. Not able to follow it up. Sloth there to continue that pressure. As we move from the backboard to Sloth. Just goes slightly too high. Slaminate moving it out. Ollie there once again to defend. I feel like Slaminate and Ollie have both denied some good offensive opportunities both ways. Ollie trying to get the clear with Slaminate once again. There to, de to deny that momentum, that breakaway. Nader taught in the air and able to read that touch from Ollie to keep it on the uh, St. Ambrose side of the field. See Nico going back. Or sorry, moving it forward. Not able to do so. Demo Nico onto all caps. Ollie centers it, but all caps has just respawned and able to push that one away. Nader taught now on the wall once again, taking his time trying to make that calculated play. Looking for a player to demo on his way, falling down to the net. All caps with the center and a block from Sloth. Slamming eight, continuing the pressure from Hood. Going off the ceiling, not able to make it happen. It fell a little bit too quick for him. And Ollie with a big play, almost on net, just hits the side. And Ollie continuing that pressure here. Nico going back, knowing his teammate Sloth is back and has a better angle, leaves it nicely. And tries to put on net with his wheels. Nice soft touch. Almost like a change up in baseball. You're not expecting it. As we move on. Saint, or sorry, Hood College with the pressure here. Ollie denying the opportunity once again. As we see Nader talk come out of nowhere. But gets demoed unfortunately. All caps trying to move the ball up with, with no boost. While Ollie just got a full boost pad. Not able to do so there. Nico. From the corner he moves on to slaminate who gets demoed by sloth and once again nico trying to make something happen there two players miss so there's a big opportunity here from saint ambrose to ca to finish this game one two minutes and 20 seconds have elapsed into this overtime we see sloth in the air able to put it down and keep moving it up from the corner we see nico backing up not able to touch that one, but luckily neither did the Hood College uh, player. I did not catch who that was as we see Nader top once again from the wall. 
moving it up this side. A mistouch there, not able to do anything. Picks up a small pad and goes back, knowing his teammates are there. That's the biggest thing with this rotation. They've played as a team, they've practiced as a team, and this is where they get to put it all together and show off what they've been working on. A slam and eight, just a little dance around the defender, able to uh, get a win in game one with this play right here. Sloth trying to predict that he went to the right. Unfortunately, he did go left, and that's going to be one to zero in favor of Hood College as we move on to game number two. Big plays there. If we, as we see, slam an eight with that final goal, two saves, seven shots, and uh, and the and the most points there. Nader and slam in for Hood College, scoring one each. And then all, or sorry, Nico from St. Ambrose scoring one. Big saves coming out from Ollie. Both, uh, sorry, Ollie on the St. Ambrose side of things. And both Slammin and Nader Tot with big saves on the Hood College side of things. Nico with a, quite, a, quite a few shot opportunities and offensive pressure. So I'm excited to see what happens in game number two as we ready up to move on. And with, with that, we are moving on to game number two. Jumping into spectate here. And the teams look ready to go. I'm sorry, wait. Somebody has jumped out real quick and jumped right back in. As we start game number two, Hood College in the lead. Sorry, I'm, yeah, Hood College in the lead. And with the offensive pressure to start game two, Sloth with a good center, slamming able to deny, deny Nico from that opportunity to all caps, moving it up from the left corner, takes it off the wall, and Ollie just beats him there. Nader taught trying to control it once again. He seems more of a, a, a calculated player and a technical player than a, a big hitter, I should say. Nader taught moving it up the right side, able to get a touch on it and just misses left. That pre flip was unexpected. As we see Nico once again moving it out. Mistouch there, slamming, trying to win the 50. Not able to do so. And Nader Tot is there. Sloth with the center. Not able to get the touch there. Slamming 8 does have an open net opportunity here. And they're back quickly with Nader Tot. Able to take the pass from Slamming 8 and put it into the bar down situation there. And it really was just that miss on the wall and then only trying to read that he was going to stay low and just a free opportunity there as we get the first goal very quickly in the second game. A Hood College up 1-0 in the series and this game. Slamming 8, not able to do so. Gets shut down. See Nader Tot trying to put it around Ollie. He is able to and puts it over Nico, I believe that was. Nader Tot, sorry. Law bring it up the field has slamming eight in the goal not able to put it around him ollie and nico are there on the side of saint ambrose university hood college put it in the corner and turning the pressure around all caps off the wall gonna follow that both ollie sorry ollie and nico back ollie able to push it out slam it eight on to net is anybody be, gonna be able to get there in time no they are not just an unexpected trying to follow the ball up, get the pressure on the other side, and both players out of position to the left, making it 2-0 in favor of Hood College. And now for the third kickoff of the game, St. Ambrose, St. Ambrose's Nico gonna take it up the wall, slamming with this offensive pressure. He's a, he's a quick player that we've already we've already seen that. Ollie just putting it too far over with no teammates there. See Nader Tot with a 50 50 against Nico. Nico trying to get boost and get out, misses the boost, but is able to get the middle uh, full boost. I don't even know what they're called. I'm sorry. Nico. Oh, Nader Tot with an opportunity just misses left. Sloth trying to win a 50 50, but does not get touched on the Hood College side of things. And it's down in the middle, and Nader Tot once again able to put that away so it's they're really running away with game number two here three zero two minutes and 44 seconds on the clock and that would be nader tot's second goal of the game nico sloth 
Both trying to move up for St. Ambrose. Not able to do so. The Hood College players win the 50-50s and slamming. Just sends it over goal and Sloth is going to capitalize on that. Not able to put it out. All caps trying to follow up. This pressure is mounting against St. Ambrose. They just need to get it clear, get reset. Bring it back together. All caps with a center over the net. But once again, another Hood College player is there. And now they've got the opportunity on the other side of things. All caps not able to get there. And that's going to be a, a goal for Sloth of the St. Ambrose University team. Just putting it there. And that pressure got to him. Ran out of boost. Didn't have anybody back. They were just worried about getting the next goal. And they were able to capitalize on that. So it's going to be three Hood College, one St. Ambrose University. Ollie, Ariel to center. Nico not there to capitalize on that center pass. Nader Tot taking it out for Hood College. Trying to bring the momentum back the other way. Sloth challenges, makes him make a move. And Ollie is able to put it on net almost. And Slammin 8 was there to support all caps on the defensive side of things. All caps pushing it to the right side here. We see Nader bringing it up the field. Trying to make a play towards the net. All caps just worrying about getting it over the players. And he'll get it on center later. Just high from slamming eight there. And Ollie is mounting a counter attack. Flipping it over to. But just misses wide. And slamming eight was there. St. Ambrose University bringing it back here with this pressure. The giving Hood College a taste of their own medicine, what they were showing early in this game. Slamming eight. Oh, just puts it around Sloth, but Nico is there to deny the goal. We're on with Nader taking up the wall. All he denies and puts it on net, but all caps is there with a great defensive play. Nader top 50, slamming, follows it up. Not able to get the flick over Sloth as Sloth is putting the pressure on all caps just misses there nico on the wall nader tot nader yeah sorry nader tot didn't denies i'm stuttering over my words now sloth pushing it to the side there so hoods nader nader tot by himself but followed up by slamming eight and it's all caps can put this away sloth with a big save and ollie's there to try to get it out of their half the pressure once again coming from Hood College quite consistently here. Slamming 8 turns around, able to get a touch on the ball. Ollie keeps it in the corner. They've got to make something happen here. It only takes three seconds to score a goal. Nader Tot does not allow it. And that's going to be number two in favor of Hood 2 0. So as we look at the scoreboard, we see slamming. And Nader taught with the Nader taught with two goals, slamming with one for Hood College. And the only goal on the side of St. Ambrose University is going to be Sloth. Uh, once again, big saves coming in from Nico and uh, two big saves coming in from Slam and Eight. We're really seeing these players develop as the series moves on. This is the first time I've had the opportunity to watch them. I like the teamwork that St. Ambrose has. You know that they trust each other. You can see that in their play. Hood has some of that developing, but you can see Slaminate pushing forward, Nader top following up a lot, and then all caps there for the third player if needed. So the pressure on both sides of things have been very good. And I do think that St. Ambrose University has an opportunity to, to reverse sweep this as we're moving in to game number three. Game number three, players are already joining. They are excited to bring, move this forward. I'm sorry. And we are on game number three of five. Nader Tot on the side of Hood College with the kickoff and a shot there from Nico and leaving it there. Not, oh, I thought that was in. I'm sorry. I was going to say not able to save it, but they were Nader Tot demo slot. All caps. Sorry, all caps missing that one as St. Ambrose continues the pressure. Ollie from the wall, slamming, tries to clear it. Nader Tot bringing it back for Hood College. Nico waiting for his teammate there. Knew he was there. Knew he had his support. 50-50 in the air goes in favor of St. Ambrose University. 
As we see, Ollie takes it off the wall, trying to give his teammates an opportunity to get a shot on net. But Slam and 8 with Hood College going the other way. Sloth slows down, plays it calculated, and just pops it over him. All caps with another opportunity to Nader Tot. Ollie able to bump it over him. As we see Slam and 8 trying to bring it upfield, not able to do so as Nico puts it on, on the ground. Nader Tot trying to put a shot on net, able to do so, but Ollie denies that opportunity once again. And what an angle there from Nico and a big save from Slam and ready for that angle. Angle. Ollie with a center. And no teammates there to support him in that situation. Tries to follow it up, not able to do so. Slam and eight pushes it to the corner. Slows down play. Minute and a half has elapsed in game number three. St. Ambrose University needs to win this to keep this series alive. Ollie off the wall, trying to find a teammate, puts it down and is able to do so off of Slam and eight's hood. And that's going to be a goal for St. Ambrose University coming out from a good pass from Ollie 128 and finishes it off as Nico. 1 0, 317 left to go. St. Ambrose needs to hold on to this lead or capitalize it and make it a bigger one to keep moving forward. Sloth with taking the forward boost and a great pass to Nico there. You can see this teamwork coming together. You can see that they know my teammate's going to be there. Let me just get it out to him and give him that opportunity. What a play there. St. Ambrose back to back. Going to be two for Nico, but both of his teammates getting the assists on the last two goals. Nader top pushing it to the corner. Hood College is trying to deny this and make a statement with, with a 3-0 and St. Ambrose University saying, we will not go away with once again, Nico putting it in the net with the hat trick. Ollie from the corner up to Nico. Neither player able to get there in time to contest the shot. That's three goals in the last 20 seconds for Nico. And what teamwork that is. Ollie over to the left corner, slamming, goes up on the wall to control this. Slows it down, make the play go at his pace. Brings it across the field, Sloth saying, no, we're going to be quick and we're going to keep attacking. Not able to touch that as all caps. Nader Talk gets his soft touch on it, but it sends it pretty far. Sloth following it up and Nader Talk puts it on goal. Follows up his own pass with an aerial of his own. Ollie trying to find his teammate Sloth behind there, not able to do so. And Nader Tot sees the opportunity. One to three in favor of St. Ambrose in this third game. As we move on, this is just starting the second half of the game. The pressure that St. Ambrose University had earlier was just incredible. All caps trying to keep it on the side. Sloth and Ollie both work together to contest that. And he puts it behind Nico, making it 2-3. And they are saying, no, we will not get shut out this game. 2-3, making a statement back to him. I believe those were like 15 seconds apart. I didn't remember the exact time of the first one. Hood College, St. Ambrose. St. Ambrose University needs this win. As Nader Tot moves it across the net, gets a save. Sloth trying to slow down play, keep it on their side of the field. Nico able to go up in the air for that. Put it over. Nader Tot doesn't have the boost to follow up, and all captain denies that opportunity there. Ollie up off the wall. Nader Tot trying to show the dirty dangles there. Wins the 50, doesn't have the boost to follow it up. Takes the boost, gets out, goes to support his team on defense as all caps tries to remount that attacking force. Not able to do so there. Nico, Ollie, and uh, sorry, Sloth for St. Ambrose bringing it back the other way. Big 50 in the air. Nico falls back to support the team on defense. Sorry, Nico moves forward, gets a pass over to Sloth, who's able to put it on net. Nader Tot says no. So we see all caps and Hood College moving it up the field, trying to even the score here in game number three. 
with a center center ball from slamming not able to be there nader talk does try to get put one on net but two players sloth sorry sloth and ollie deny that ollie centering it for his team nico up once again not able to put on put it on net just off to the side there eight and the hood college players moving it forward but nico what a center pass not able to finish 50 50 goes in favor of all caps we see nico slowing it down trying to make the make the play that he wants to play only 20 seconds left on the clock to make it game number four or sorry game number three no this is three i'm sorry game number four all caps on defense pushing it to the side slows it down needs to get it out so they can score to tie it up not able to do so saint ambrose university winning game number three nico really just getting the team on his back and the team was there to support him also all three of those were all assisted ollie had two assists sloth had one that's the highest scoring game we've seen in 3-2. Nader taught with two goals of his own, only one assisted. But big saves coming out from Hood. You see four saves from all caps, four saves from Nader taught. And just the, the offensive pressure from St. Ambrose there is something that I want to see in the next two games. Or the next upcoming games. They really worked together as a team, rotating well trying to steal boost where they saw it we saw it possible and nico in the air once again does put it on net but all caps will shut that opportunity down nader tot against the wall slam and trying to get a clear and move it over to what they were seeing in the first two games what a shot from sloth bar down for sloth let's take a look at this one again because i missed this yeah, just a just pops it over Nader Tot and not able to get it up high enough, quick enough. And that's going to be one in favor of St. Ambrose University. Just 19 seconds into game number four. Ollie bringing it up, trying to make an opportunity for St. Ambrose. Does nobody in net, but Slammon's pushing it to the right side, trying to get a pinch on it. Low boost for Slammon, but is confident in his team to let him go pick up pads and maybe mount an offensive pressure there. Ollie, one, two, eight, denies Sloth of that opportunity. Sorry, not Sloth. Denies Slamming of that opportunity. Slammon trying to bring it back the other way again, supported by both teammates at his wings. Ollie puts it on net. Nader Tot able to get there this time. Sloth with a center that Nico is not able to get to. He stayed back and saw the, the opportunity for Hood College to bring it back the other way. But Hood College, undenying, unrelenting, in all caps, is going to be able to put that away. Sorry, Nader Todd is going to be able to put that away with an assist from all caps. Sloth not able to get a solid touch on that. And all caps just pushes it forward, and Nader Todd takes that one away. Bringing it 1-1. 345 on the clock both teams have plenty of time to change the change the way the game is going tie game ollie trying to get back to support sloth on defense goes around slamming eight all caps is there but does win the 50. nader tot and ollie meet in the air all caps with a back pass and tries to follow that one up sloth off the wall nico's there for the demo Nader Tot see, sees the demo incoming and supports his team on defense. Brings it underneath Ollie, but it goes nowhere. And Nico is able to pass to Ollie 128 with an. What a wonderful pass. Nobody's up in the air for that. Everybody's waiting for it to come down. Waiting to play at their own pace here. Slamming it with a shot on net. Ollie and Nico deny that. Sloth trying to pass to his teammates. Slamming. Trying to find a way to put the ball around the St. Ambrose University players. All caps just off to the side and Ollie denies. Over Sloth. Nico last back for St. Ambrose. Sloth picks up full boost. 
on the side there. Nader Tot controls it, and Hood College is back to that unrelenting pressure that they have shown in game one and two. A slam, and once again takes it off the wall over to Nico and Sloth. Sloth pushes it out. Nader Tot misses, but All Caps is there to support Nader taking boost and getting back to support his team. Slamming eight and All Caps on the offensive pressure. Just goes past that one, and Nico is able to push it on to the Hood College side of things. Ollie, one, two, eight. Trying to make something happen here. Neither player is there. Sloth tries to get the dunk, but they don't touch it. Slamming with the center. And a pass. No, just misses it. Sloth and Ollie support each other for the clear there. Nader taunt on the wall for the save. No shot coming in. Nico up once again. Tries to center on net. Ollie, one, two, eight. Just misses that. A slamming. Pushes it the other way. Sloth on the left side of the field here. Gets a center. And denied by Nader Tot. Ollie 128 supporting his team. Once again with the third man back. And says, boys, I got this. Tries to stay up in the air enough. Not able to do so. Nico bumps it over one. Is he able to get... Oh, he's not able to get a pass two. As Sloth keeps this pressure. St. Ambrose, when they have an attack mounting, they keep it coming. Hood, they'll have three, four, five shots on net. I just feel like Hood, never mind. Hood scores 2-1 with one minute left. I was, I was going to say, when St. Ambrose is mounting an attack on net, there are just shot after shot. As we see Slammin' with the assist from all caps, putting it away. Moving on to the final minutes. If St. Ambrose isn't able to make this overtime or even take the lead, this is Hood College's game. But with that same Ambrose teamwork that we've already seen in the first three games, sure they can make something happen here. Goes around Ollie, and Ollie decides to push it just across the net. Don't give anybody an easy opportunity in front of net. Slamming an Ollie 50 right in the middle there. Nico is trying to defend all caps. All caps able to push it away, but gets stuck in the corner awkwardly. Nader Tot on the ground. Once again, puts it past one and really just solidifies it right there. 30 or 29 seconds left on the clock. Nader Tot puts it over Sloth and just finishes it off with a nice goal there. 3-1 in favor of Hood College. All caps and Nico with the face off. Nico pushes it forward, but Slamming 8 is there to bring it back the other way. Nader Tot trying to keep it in favor of Hood College unrelenting i think that's what a word i've used a couple times but i feel like when these teams get together and bring pressure as a team it's you just got to find the boost pads near you and do whatever you can to save it and we are down to the final moments and that is going to be hood college winning the series here and just what spectacular rocket league from both teams very impressed with both teams nader taught this one with two goals and two saves of his own slamming with a goal of his own and assist two assists from all caps being there to support the team that is gonna be it for series number one next up at eight o'clock eastern we will have montana going up against csu dh at eight o'clock Gotcha. Once again, I do want to say a big thank you to ESTV, ESTV Helix Esports. Big thank you for helping us set this up and get, and get this going. And the NFL alumni, big thank you to those three. Oh, also, uh, make sure you catch us every week. We have Madden Mondays. Tuesday, we will have Valorant starting up. Wednesdays, we have Overwatch. Thursdays, League of Legends. And every Friday, it's going to be Rocket League here on NECC -E 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 Esports on Twitch. Make sure you guys follow the channel. Make sure to support all the games, all the colleges. They're all working hard to be here. And it's it's definitely a different year in, in school, college, everything. So we're making changes and we're making it for the better.
वो क्या 